all those promises that we read about in the Bible that you're going to read about this year in the Cover to Cover series are available to us. It says, Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, look, look what he says. Later on, this is in the New Testament, the Apostle Paul says to this church, he says, for all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. Every Sunday, that's what we say, amen, amen, rich, rich, amen, brother, right? Because we're saying through faith that we have access not only to a relationship with God, but, but through Jesus, we have access to all those promises, all those blessings. And it's not just us. Think about this. It's not just for you here in Wellsville. It's not just for you in Ole in Arcade or Single House. It's for every tribe, every tongue, every nation under Jesus. Think about that. That, that, that. That's pretty incredible that all those people utter that amen. When you think about the faithfulness of God, it, it's amazing that if he can fulfill this one promise, he can fulfill them all. Um, I came across this animated map that shows the spread of the gospel since the birth of Christianity. You've got to take a look at this. Go ahead, guys, put it on there. It starts in Jerusalem. You know the story, Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria to the ends of the world. But what's so cool about this map is that throughout the centuries, it shows the time increasing, and with each century passes, um, a empire rises up. You know, you have the Roman Empire, which is replaced by the Byzantine Empire. So what this is showing is that over the course of history, man's attempt to build a city, a tower, and a name for itself, and each time they try to do it, and it might last 100, 200, 300 years, each time they happen to do it, what happens? It fails. But there's one thing you'll notice the spread of that does not fail, and that is God's word. Where, where the world will fail, God's word will never fail. Where the world's promises will let you down, God's promises will never let you down, and it keeps spreading, and it spreads, and it spreads, and it spreads. What's so amazing about this to me is it shows this one promise in Genesis 12 is being lived out in our lifetime today. Isn't that amazing? This one promise we get to experience just by being a part of history and then now reaching to the ends of the earth where people don't have a relationship with Jesus, that we can be a part of that. We can be a part of sharing that gospel. This is incredible. What's so amazing about this map, though, is that it took someone. It took 120 believers and then it took a group of churches to keep reaching out, to keep planting, to keep going, then to send missionaries out to other countries, and it kept growing and growing. No one wanted to go to like Antarctica and Iceland and Canada, you know? No one wanted to go to those places, but someone who had enough faith that thought, that thought a little crazy can go a long way had the guts to do it, and we're a part of that. That promise is being fulfilled here. Do you understand that God is faithful to fulfill his promises, that even in your season of waiting, he will accomplish his purposes if you will learn to trust him. 